come to my youtube channel so today we'll be looking at y325 chemistry practical prep so this is the part c video if you are just watching this video for the first time kindly request for the part a and part b because i've explained the quantitative analysis in my part a and part b that is known as titration or you call it volumetric analysis so in this one we are going to be explaining the qualitative analysis for y chemistry practical and this is my 90% predicted questions for the sort analysis or qualitative analysis whereby once you practice it at least at least many of it will come out from your exam so take your time to study this video very well and ensure to watch this video to the end don't forget to request for this for the part a and part b video if you haven't watched so what is qualitative analysis qualitative analysis it involves identifying cations anions gas or organic compound using reagents now look at this um this specimen for white now this specimen for white what are we to identify what are we to do we have to we have to identify cations we have to identify anions cations anions and what we have to uh, perform a um felling test yeah felling test so that so those are the three things we'll be doing in this qualitative analysis chemistry practical for YEG 2025. So the specimen they will give you for this qualitative analysis or you call it sort analysis is a is a mixture of two solid sample. And what are the solid sample? That is copper sulfate CuSO4 mixed with what with glucose mixed with glucose so these are the two so these are the two sample you'll be given although they will be mixed together and called sample c so from here from this copper sulfate we are will be testing for the cations and you know the cations is what copper also testing for the word anions so the anions cations and anions so the anions here is so4 so4 two minus or so4 so3 to minus and others and also testing for the glucose for the glucose now this is where we'll be using our failing test to test failing test to test for the glucose yeah using a failing reagent to test for that so now let's now look at this 90 percent predicted questions for this y25 chemistry practical for qualitative analysis so let's dive into it and let's answer this question properly don't forget to share this video give us a like thumb and give us a comment under this video so now let's look at this question very well starting from the a that is what a the a says that the a says that put sample c like i said earlier i said sample c is this all specimen C? That means that one it combines uh, both the CuSO4 together with what glucose together. And I told you that we are testing for anions, cations from the CuSO4 and from the glucose. We are testing for we are using failing test, testing for reducing sugar. So reducing sugar, or probably we use failing test. Using sugar can be tested using failing test. So that's what we are doing here. Now put sample C in a boiling tube and had 10 cm cube of distilled water so c or you say sample c plus what plus distilled water plus distilled water distilled water so if you add sample c plus distilled water what did you observe what will you observe what will be your observation it's going to be c dissolved in water to give a clear blue solution yeah, exactly if you add this C in the water, so it's going to give, so it's going to what? It's going to give a clear blue solution. That's what I'm going to observe. So C dissolved in water, dissolved in water to give a what? A clear blue, a clear blue solution to give a clear blue what? A clear blue solution so now if you now test this C with litmus paper according to the question which is shake the mixture thoroughly from here shake the mixture thoroughly and then test with litmus paper so if you now say 
plus litmus paper. So plus litmus paper. Then what is the action of what of this solution? Like you know, we have already you know, remember that this C initially is in solid state. So by the time you dissolve it or you dilute it or you dissolve it in um, in the still water, then or then what is the observation? It dissolves in the water in the still water, then it gives a clear blue solution. If you now test this solution now with litmus paper, then what observation will you observe? It has no effect on what blue, blue, and red litmus paper glucose or sucrose suspected so now the next question they ask so that is the bi let me underline this so that is the bi the bi says that to about two centimeter cube of solution c add sodium hydroxide solution in drop then in xx bi now this bi is not going to be solution c plus sodium hydroxide in drop what happened solution c imagine now you will no longer write sample c again because it is no longer sample c but at the beginning here you can write sample c plus the still water but you know now it has formed a solution so you have to be writing solution c instead of you writing sample c now those are the little things they will observe that they that might reduce your mark. So solution C plus what? Plus sodium hydroxide in drop first, then in excess. Solution C plus sodium hydroxide in drop. So what happened when you had a drop of sodium hydroxide? What happened then? your observation is going to be blue gelatinous precipitate formed that will be your observation you're going to observe a blue gelatinous precipitate so in drop a blue gelatinous precipitate precipitate can be abbreviated to ppt is allowed yes is allowed both in y and also in echo so blue gelatinous precipitate formed in what in drop then what about in excess that means if we add excess sodium hydroxide in excess what is your observation if you add sodium hydroxide to this solution in excess insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide now, what is that thing that is insoluble in excess sodium hydroxide? It is the blue gelatinous precipitate that was formed. So, so copper two plus present. That would be the inference. So, Cu2 plus present. Imagine it's not yet confirmed. We only know that it is present. So, it's not yet confirmed. Now, to the BII. So, the BII. Let me also rule this to so the BII, which says that to about two centimeter cube of solution, so of solution C, add aqueous ammonia in drop and then in excess. So if you had second portion, okay, let me write second portion. Sorry, second portion of solution c second portion of solution c plus what plus aqueous ammonia aqueous ammonia in drop in drop first so if you had another portion of um, this same solution c if you had drop of ammonia inside what will you observe? Like, what did you think your observation is going to be? So, your observation, I understand your observation will be a pale blue gelatinous precipitate will be formed. Yeah, if you had N I ammonia in drop to it, a pale blue gelatinous precipitate is formed in drop.
pale blue gelatinous precipitate is formed in what in drop in drop now what about in excess so comma then in excess then in excess now what will happen in the excess now the precipitate dissolves in excess to give a deep blue solution that means this gelatinous precipitate is going to be what is going to dissolve when you add excess ammonia inside the solution so it will dissolve to now give a deep blue solution so now the precipitate let me abbreviate it to ppt ppt dissolves in excess to give to give a deep blue solution to give a deep blue solution so if it gives a deep solution then what is going to be our inference so copper 2 plus cu2 plus confirmed so cu2 plus is confirmed now let's move to the question c question c says that to about two centimeter of solution C, add barium chloride solution followed by what dilute HCl in excess in excess in a boiling tube and warm the mixture and warm the mixture that is what is there again to so about two centimeter cube sorry I didn't put cube on the while writing the question down to so about two centimeter cube of solution C add barium chloride solution followed by dilute hydrochloric acid in excess in a boiling tube and warm gently. What portion plus what? Barium chloride. So if you add barium chloride to the third portion, what are you going to observe? You are going to observe a white precipitate. So a white precipitate formed. White precipitate let me update as ppt white ppt formed and remember that for the um for the b b i and then b i i what do we test for test for the cations and that is copper so this c we are testing for anions like that that is just the simple thing you are doing here so for the c now we are testing for anions so when you observe a white precipitate then what are your inference SO3 2 minus SO4 2 minus CO3 2 minus and then S2 minus so SO4 2 minus SO4 2 minus SO3 2 minus CO3 2 minus and S2 minus suspected you really suspect so just suspect suspected and what about so after adding this barium chloride so that same third portion then then add hcl please remember that you have to add barium chloride first before you add hcl so dilute hcl in excess so now if you have hcl to this solution in excess what are you going to observe and then you observe that the pretty white precipitate formed the white precipitate formed is what insoluble in excess hcl or probably you say the white precipitate form is undissolved in excess hcl so the ppt ppt formed is insoluble in excess hcl so that will be your um, observation then What's going to be your inference? The inference is, is going to be so far for it not to be insoluble in LSHCL. That means your inference is going to be SO4 2 minus is what is present. SO4 2 minus present. So we have SO4 2 minus present. Now let's continue the question. Then they said in um dilute ACL in excess, okay, in a boiling tube and warm gently 
So after adding HCl in less than less one, so plus heat, or probably you say plus uh, heat, which is okay, plus heat. So if you heat the the solution, so if you heat the solution, then what are you going to see? If you heat the sample, if it's the whole mixture, what are you going to see? So I mean, what will be observation? The observation is going to be the precipitates will dissolve. Forming a colorless solution, yeah. Precipitates will dissolve, then it's going to form a colorless solution. So the PPT dissolves while heating. If I you can put it, which forms a colorless solution dissolves, dissolves which forms a colorless solution. So if it forms a colorless solution, then said a colorless gas with irritating smell released. A colorless gas with irritating smell is released. So if you observe this gas coming out whereby it is released so now if you test this gas with what kmno4 what, what is going to happen to the gas then it's going to decolorize the purple color of kmno4 to one to colorless so the gas decolorizes kmno4 solution to what to colorless you can also put that as well by testing the gas that was released so the the gas decolorizes purple color of KMNO4 to colorless. Colorizes KMNO4, KMNO4 to what? To colorless. So if you can observe that, so what is going to be your inference? Your inference is that SO2 from where SO3 to minus is what is present. From this SO3, SO2 is present, but where, but where does the SO2 comes from? It comes from this SO3 to minus. So your inference is going to be SO2 from where? From SO3 to minus present. 3 to minus present. What question can they ask you on that one? You can actually put this question down. So for that one, you can ask you guys can go like that two centimeter cube of solution C plus failing solution. So that one is just about testing for failing test. So if you know more about failing test, then that one will be easier for you to work on. So and then your observation is going to be a brick red precipitate is formed. You can read more about failing test for your reducing sugar, and that is the glucose. So that is all I have for you. And um, share this video to your loved ones. If you have any questions, you can actually ask me under the comment section. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I wish you best of luck in your exam. Bye.